Hello, and welcome to Post Perspective TV. I'm Dana McCallum, and we are not actually in Amsterdam today, but we are still celebrating IBC season 2020. Uh, and we are happy to welcome our guest today, Bob Cornelia of Black Magic Design. Thanks for joining us, Bob. Thanks for having me. <laughs> so if we actually were in Amsterdam and we were tired and we were been standing all day, you would still have new news. And uh, it's pretty big news you guys have announced recently. Do you want to share with everybody uh, a little bit more about your new camera? Yeah, absolutely. So the Blackmagic uh, Ursa Mini Pro 12K. So just when you didn't think 8K or 6K were enough, 12K. So. But we uh, announced this camera recently, and as a matter of fact, uh, the first units will be going out to customers by the end of this week, so that'll be great news for everybody. Um, the 12K camera is designed to be able to shoot 12K, 8K, and 4K with the full sensor, so this really gives people a lot of choices in um, how they're going to shoot depending on what their final output is. Uh, the other thing is it takes advantage of Blackmagic RAW, and Blackmagic RAW has the ability to record these files but make them really easy in editing. So editors can get the Blackmagic RAW files w that have a LUT turned on so they can do the editing, and then a colorist can use Resolve to do the color grading and then send that metadata back to the editor. And this really streamlines the process because instead of having the raw files and a proxy, you just have one file and they work really well. Even on old laptops, you can still play 12K files, which is pretty amazing. Um, that is very, uh, very um, impressive and interesting. Um, so there, obviously um, from the shooting end is, is one thing, but as you were just hitting on, it has a lot of, of post perspective post-production, not post-perspective, which is where I work, but post-production um, workflow applications. Um, do you want to talk a little bit about the color science behind the camera as well? Yeah, absolutely. So not only did we roll out the new 12K camera, but we have the new color science Gen 5, which helps uh, take advantage of the full sensor. Uh, the other thing is that because you're shooting 12K, that actually fits into the VFX workflow. So at this point, we have people that are really interested in shooting it for VFX plates because the higher resolution for VFX plates, especially when they're doing the new, you know, uh, virtual productions where they're feeding LED walls and things like that, they can use higher resolution. And the higher resolution they feed into those, the more realistic the backgrounds look. And, uh, and so really, this is a, a device that... Uh, we've had a lot of VFX people reach out to us because they want to start using the camera to shoot VFX plates because oftentimes the VFX guys are in charge of actually acquiring the footage that they need to do the plates. Right. So globally, pandemically speaking, uh, the release is very well timed. Um, I imagine uh, people are looking to get their hands on the, the camera sooner rather than later for some visual effects work. Absolutely. And the thing is that we are trying to, uh, we, we, we got some out already to some beta test guys, but we're ultimately, we're just trying to get them out uh, in the hands of customers, which hopefully will be very soon. Uh, okay, great. And anything, obviously the, uh, the camera's top of mind, um, but any other announcements that Blackmagic has had if we were uh, live somewhere together? Well, yeah, I mean, recently we've done a lot of different uh, announcements around our live production products. The ATEM Mini line has grown to the ATEM Mini Pro and the ATEM Mini Pro ISO, and now the uh, new ATEM Streaming Bridge. And this actually kind of fits into some production and post-production uses now because so many people are, are at home. Uh, the ability to actually stream... Um, outputs to individuals so they can turn it back into SDI or HDMI and, and look at it for maybe some confidence viewing and things like that. Uh, there's actually some, some use cases now where live product, productions that are going live now and can't have people because of COVID, they're starting to uh, try and stream outputs to individuals that are working in the post side or maybe for approvals and same with even in um, in post where guys are able to try and send a good high quality image to uh, a producer for approval because they're not able to be together okay great uh anything else we should know about that is we've covered a lot <laughs> we did cover a lot um you know uh davinci resolve is still uh 
going strong. We had a new update to handle the 12K Blackmagic RAW files, and I'm sure more will come. Uh, and everybody should always go visit blackmagicdesign.com for the latest. And if you subscribe to our Twitter handle, blackmagic underscore news, then you'll get updates when we do um, software upgrades. Okay, great. So uh, everyone knows where to go to find new information. And uh, I think that's going to wrap us up today. I'd like to thank everybody for watching and thank you for joining us, Bob. And that's Dana McCallum saying goodbye for Post Perspective TV. Thanks for watching.